Hey everyone, it's a Crafty Crochet back for another video. I believe this is episode 103, I think. Um, I guess I did have notes. I wrote notes this time. <clears throat> Just realized I'm missing one of my projects, but I'll show that next time because I'm not really sure where it's at. Okay, so today is February 26th, 2019. It is 11.09 p.m. and my kid is in here with me. Um, I've been doing pretty good since my great-grandfather's path passing. Um, I do want to say a huge, huge, huge thank you to everybody who sent me some cards. I got three cards I think I think I did those ones are older ones Okay, so I'm just going to show you what I got. I'm also doing another video tonight. It is going to be, um, I got a yarn haul and I got my package. I got a package in the mail. So I'm going to kind of do that all at the same time. But the cards that I got in the mail is I got this little pen. It says, have a magical Valentine's Day from Teresa at Little Trees Treasures. It's a little unicorn. This is actually my first pen. I, th yeah, this is definitely my first pen, so I'm going to have to put that on a bag or something. It's really cute. And she sent me a little note. This says, hi Elizabeth, just thinking of you and hope you are well. With a little smiley face. So I got that. Thank you, Teresa. And I got another one from Delaware. And this one is just a little thinking of you card. And it is from Debbie at SP Rocket 215 here on YouTube. So thank you, Debbie. When did she know it? I put my sweater on. I was freezing five seconds ago. I put my sweater on and now I am literally roasting. So up goes the hair. And I'm not really, I don't really care how I look. I don't care how my hair looks. Okay, wrong arm. I was right the first time. I'm gonna give you an update on the puppy. She is a little hellion. Um, her and my kid had their first encounter today. He was hissing and growling at her. She was barking and growling at him. I don't know if she got swatted a couple times, but she was running away from him like she was getting swatted at. Which it was bound to happen. I'm just, I'm glad they had their first like big encounter. And I'm glad my pap and grandma's here because I don't know if I would have been able to handle that by myself. So, yeah. Okay, so I have a lot but it feels like I don't have a lot, I guess. I have nine whips, which is way more than I usually do. And I have five, well, since I can only find four of them, I'm not 100% sure where the other one got to. So um, let's do my finished objects first. And you're gonna lay on my mama's book, aren't you? So let's finish with my fun start 
finish. Let's start with my finished objects. Lay down. You can lay on it. Lay on the book. Okay, we're going to finish objects first. So my first finished object is my own design. It is the flat bottom shawl. And I have water. Alright. Um, since my kid is kind of avoiding her, I've had to bring his food in his water dish. As you can see, I have his crunchers right there in my room because he literally is barricading himself in here. And, um, it's not healthy. So, I don't know what's going to happen. So, I, um, used a six and a half millimeter for this hook. Which is what I use on my worsted weight yarns. But for this one, I used Mandala. And I have this much left, which I could have done more. But I was kind of getting bored with it. So, I'm going to fold it in half. I can have a stitch marker in here. Thought I did. Maybe not. Okay. I don't have a stitch marker in here. So I'm going to fold it in half. And this is my flat bottom shawl and mandala. It is the genie one, which is one of my faves. Um, so yeah, I, if you follow the video, I did, I think, 140. And then I decreased one stitch on each side. So I started with 140, then decreased to 138, 136, and so on. And then I just kind of got tired of it, so I ended it. Um, so that is my first finished object. Um, I have like a bag over here, like my bag that I brought from my mom's. And there is a bunch of stuff like piled in it. And of course, one of my finished objects fell on the floor. So, I made this beanie. It is a small child's beanie. Um, I got this yarn from Michael's. It is impeccable. Um, I am not sure of the colors. I think the purple is magenta. And the other one is clear blue or something like that. Just my basic double crochet beanie. Um, yeah. I have like another one hiding in my bag somewhere. Yeah, there it is. And I made this one. This is an adult. And I'm showing you the seam. It is in Royal and aqua I do believe it is lion brand impeccable um I absolutely love that yarn and they had it on sale it was 40% off so I got 16 balls I should have got more but my mom and my great-grandmother were in the car so I didn't want to take too long what's nice about my Michaels is they have a price check and I don't really understand like the whole percentage off thing so I always prefer to like if I go to Joann's I have to ask somebody for a price check but at Michael's I can just go to the price check and um you know get get my answer And my second one is another flat bottom shawl. And this one is in the, one of the ombres. And I believe 
it was violet. But as you know, um, I have a stitch marker in this one. I used my six and a half millimeter for this one also. I did the same thing, chained 100 or double crochet. I guess I should have made that more, um, more specific. I didn't do chains. I did double crochet foundation row and went from there. So, um, um, I don't know if I told you guys this, but my dentist office has five ladies and I am going to give each of them, if you see right in this section right here, I have one, two, three, I already have two made, but I have a purple, a jazzy, and I got a sea coral because I want the blue one for myself. So... <clears throat> So that is all my finished objects that I can find. Like I said, I have one more, but I must fall back in my chair. I'm not exactly sure where it's at at the moment. Okay, so now let's go into my whips. That way I can get them off my out of my way, kind of. Okay, so I was at my mom's, and... We went to Walmart, me and her, on Thursday. <clears throat> and I wanted to make some, like, lap gowns or baby blankets or whatever. So I got some pastel colors. I got a mint. I got, a, like, a pale yellow. I got purple. I got a pink. And I got a white. I think that was it. Mint, purple, yellow, pink, white. Yes, that was it. And I already had a light blue, so I wasn't worried about that. So, I was at my mom's, and I was getting really bored with what I was working on. So, I decided that I was going to get on YouTube and find, you know, some baby blanket stitches. Well, I started the Drunken Granny, and this is pale yellow. This one's super duper easy. I am actually going to keep, I'm just going to do one color because if you know me, my grandmother is always coming home and being like, oh, do you have a baby blanket in it? Like, do you have a baby blanket for this person or this person? And so I just decided that I was going to, you know, start some baby blankets just to keep on hand in case that happens again in the near future. Um, so this I'm using Red Heart Super Saver and it's lemon. Um, all of them are Red Heart Super Saver, the baby blankets, because that's, I like, I love Red Heart. I love how many variety of colors they have, even though they did get rid of some of my favorite ones. Um, I still love them. Okay, this next one. I had a major headache with this one when I was at my mom's. So I was working on it, and I got to, it's a virus blanket. I got to the part where you do the chain one in between the double crochets. Well, no, I didn't get to that part. I was doing the chains and the single crochets. I was on that row. And I got to this one, um, chain one double crochet spot and my account just like wasn't adding up. I was missing a stitch somewhere. So I was like, you know, counting like one, two, three, four, ten, one, two, three, four, nine. Well, actually it was one, two, three, four, nine. And I'm like, ah, I missed a stitch. So I'm like, okay, there's nine here. There's nine here. There's nine there. So I made a mistake all the way down here. So I had to rip out like six rows. I was so mad. I just ripped it out and was like, I'm just like, put it away for a while. 
because as you can see I had to rip out quite a bit I was mad oh, I was so mad so the colors that I'm using for this is big twist yarn value yeah it's a value in the color dark teal and light teal and this is what it, it is so far I am using a five and a half millimeter for it. So yeah, I was really, really upset. Because I do two like two repeats of the color. Focus. There we go. I do two repeats of the color and then I change. And I'm glad my mom was asleep because she hates when I rip things apart because she's like she cries because I put so much work into something and then I rip it out because I don't like it or because I missed a stitch and every single time I do that she cries okay so my next whip is I started a beanie and this one is in what is that grass it's impeccable. So this kind of goes into my haul, I guess. So I'm starting a beanie. Where I, I'm showing you the same zine. Yep, I am. So I started a beanie. I'm learning. I learned to do floats in the inside. So I didn't have to cut every single color. So with my yarn that I got. My 16 skeins. I got that pretty blue. Which is called clear blue. And I got this pretty green, which is called grass. Um, the next blanket I'm going to show you. Oh, where's one of my hooks? Why aren't you in my case? Oh, that's right. So we've had our puppy now for like three weeks, I think. Well... I took my yarn down to work on something the first time yesterday. Oh my word. I would get like really, really into a rhythm and then she'd come over and want to snag my yarn. So I'm like, so I am making solid, solid granny squares. And I'm doing seven rows. I got this pattern off of YouTube. I'll try to link it. Um, so I'm just using, like, not scraps, but, like, 16 different colors. Because I want it to be, I want it to be in, like, a lapgan size. So, this is the first square I did. It is an impeccable, like, the orange color. I don't remember what it's called. And I'm edging them in black. Um... Here's an idea. Here's a thought, guys. I don't really want to sew them together. Like, I don't want to have to whip stitch all of these squares together. So I'm trying to figure out like what, what way I can do them. That is kind of going to be holy, but like not so holy. Um, I was thinking about maybe the flat braid. Or, like, some other stitch. If you guys could help me out, that would be great. And then here's a gr gray. This wasn't gray. This is green. I do know my colors. So, this is a green one. And they're a little crinkly. But it's okay. So, this is a green one. And this will be added to my yarn. Whatever. I do have a blue one. All I need to do is add the black around them and they'll be done. So I got two squares, two and like a quarter or three quarters squares done while I was downstairs, which is a little bit more than I thought I was going to get done down there. But I took the gray or the gray. Why do I keep saying gray? It's orange. I took the orange one down for like size measurements because I had these two. So this is in Blue Hawaii. Yeah, it's wrinkly. This is Blue Hawaii edged in black. This is Erin in Red Heart Super Saver. 
I think. Yeah. It's Aaron and Red Heart Super Saver. This is Brown Mains, the Brown Mainstays. And this is Sage. What's my name? Yes, this is Sage in Vanished Toys. So, I want to do um, like 16 squares, I think. Will be a will be a good um will be a good blanket size. Okay, so the next one is who that was a reach. Sorry about that. So, this is the Candy Kisses shawl. I love this pattern. I think this is my new favorite. I love this shawl. It's a two row repeat, which is what I like. I like either a one row repeat or a two row repeat. No more than at least three or four. I do the virus stuff, so that's like four, right? Yeah, it's like four rows. So, yeah. But I love this shawl. I absolutely love it. I don't know. I'm not a shawl person, but I really like this one. And I have three cakes of the Frosty Swirl. I am on my second cake. And then I have one more. And I do not know why that's not in a project bag. Throw, it out there. Throw that over there. I'm using a six... Six and a half for that one. Um, a five and a half for my virus blanket. A uh, five for my hat, which I use five millimeter for all of my hats. And for my squares, it depends on the yarn thickness. I've noticed that a couple. I m mainly I use a six, but if the yarn is a little thick then I go up to, or I go down to like a five or a five and a half. I have noticed that with a couple of my V yarns that I have picked. Okay. I'm going to show you the virus square blanket. Sorry, kid. Don't lay on mommy's book. Don't do that. Okay. If you want to lay on a honey, I was just kidding. This is all I have of. This is the High Mountains shawl by Petra, over at the Sosa family. It is like this, and it's so pretty. Am I in? I am using a five, and I have two cakes of DK colors. I have more cakes than this. This is just the one I'm using. It's called Alpine. And I had it in another project, and I didn't like it, so I frogged it, which is why it's wrapped around the band. It's a number three. Machine wash, warm, tumble dry, no heat. So, so yeah, it's not in a project bag either. I'm going to have to put these in project bags because... Whoops. Okay. My next whip... It's a lot of, I told you it's a lot of whips, guys. Sorry. So, <clears throat> this stitch, okay? I love this stitch. I'm crinkly down right at the bottom. I love this stitch. It's kind of like the drunken granny, but it's kind of not. So, uh, this stitch number is number 134 on crochet for baby. Now, I... I don't do a lot of baby things except for blankets and hats and toys and stuff. And oh, by the way, that's minty. Um, and I am using five. No, lied. Six. I'm using a six millimeter for this one. So this this lady, she has some amazing stitch patterns for baby blankets and lap gans and stuff. Um, the only thing that I do not like is a several couple of her videos that I have tried to watch. In the beginning, she doesn't 
she goes right into the stitch. She doesn't tell you, um, like, the multiples to do. Because all she does is, like, little swatches or little samples. That's the only thing I do not like is that she does not explain, like, the multiples. If you want to make it bigger, like, how many multiples to do plus whatever. She doesn't do that. Sometimes you start the video and she goes right into the stitch. And I, I just have a problem with that. Like, if you're going to do a video, at least tell us, like, the multiples of the chain so that we can make this, make the project. Or make the pro, yeah, make the project. I just, I watched, like, three of hers and she did that. And I was pretty upset about that because I was like, if you're going to do a video... You should at least tell them how many chains you have to do to make that project. That's just my opinion. I found my finish. I found my other finished object. I knew I'd find it eventually in all this mess. Okay, so what is this? Oh, okay. So this is called. This stitch is called. Let's see, Lily. Lily of the Valley blanket. And again, it's either a baby blanket or a lapkin. I'm not 100% sure. And I am using the color Orchid to do this. And I am using a 6 for this one also. So, um, I don't remember where I got this one from. I don't remember if it's from her or not. I will try to link all of these in the box below. I'm going to write that down. Links. Yeah, I wrote it down. Um, all links. Okay, so another thing that I have a question about is, so you know how um, some or how like all of your information is like already like you upload the video like all of your links are already there for like your personal Facebook Instagram um Ravelry all of that stuff is already there how do you guys put those links into your description box every single time without having to type it in every single time that's what I want to know so, my last one I have to show you is this year, I didn't do a, like a crafty goal, 2000, you know, new crafty goals for 2019. I didn't do that this year. But one of the goals that I had for myself was I was going, I wanted to step out of my comfort range. I wanted to try new stitches. If they look hard, I wanted to try them. I want to try cables, like I want to try a cable hat, but I am terrified of the cables. They look w really complicated. So if you have a cable, like a simple cable hat that I can try, please send me a link or give me like a pattern or something. I'd prefer to be free because I would love to make a cable hat just to try it, just to, you know, you know, say, oh, I did a cable hat just to do that. So... I was, like I was saying, I was at my mom's, and I wanted to try, I wanted to start some baby blankets, so I did, and I did the star stitch, look at that, I did the star stitch, people, it is, it is taking me a long time, like, this took, like, three days to do this, but, like, once I sit there, and I'm, like, I get into a rhythm, and then I just go. And by the way, this is baby pink. It's like a real light pink. Because I got baby colors. And I like them. So. Okay, let me look. Oh, I do want to show you this. I got, finally got my skull 3D puzzle that I haven't put together yet. I've been wanting this one for like a long time now. 
And it looks, it was like my Walmart finally stocked up on some. So I got my, I finally got my skulls. Okay. Oh, I want to show you. So, I find, like I said, I found my other whip. Or my other finished object that I thought I lost. So, <laughs> so I found this pattern a while ago, like a couple, like last week and I started it and I put it down and I did not write down what it was. So I went on YouTube and I looked and I looked and I looked and I could not find it anywhere. Nowhere. I could not find it anywhere. So it is pretty big. I used a six and a half millimeter for the shell and it is made with the Karen cotton cakes and I used four whole balls. Pretty good size. I tried to match the sequins up like the striping sequins but I was like yeah no more. It was it was becoming a real pain honestly. I have more, I have more finished objects. I like just remembered that, excuse me. It's okay, kid. Okay, so um, the last week of my great grandfather's life, it's uh, okay, I'm all right, lay back down, it's okay. For the last week of my great grandfather's life, I was at my mom's and he actually passed away on the night that I came home. And while I was up there, I worked on Amigurumi's and I was able to finish, I think four. So the first one I did is this little guy. He's a little frog. Look at his little feet. Aren't they cute? So, I got this project, or this pattern, out of the Whimsical Animal book. And it's over there, and I'm not going to get ready to get it. So, I found this pattern. It's a little frog. No, this is the Hello Kitty book. That's right. And <clears throat> I followed the eye pattern to a T. You were supposed to increase it to 20. You started with five and you increased to 25. Well, that took up his whole face. In the book, he has two little cheeks and a mouth. I even give him a little bow tie, a little black one. But I think when I make this again, I am going to make his eyes probably three rounds because the five rounds like took up his whole face. So... I stuffed his head with yarn scraps and his body with polyfill. So yeah, isn't he cute? Somebody will like him. Now this, I consider a complete failure, but my mom says it gives him character. So I have the pattern for the mini dino off of Ravelry. And this is him. I apologize if it scares somebody. I really think he's he's kind of cute in his own way. I think his legs should have been like sewed up here, not down here. But I didn't have big enough safety eyes, so I gave him button eyes. And he's red and black. His head is like sewed on crooked, which... I tend to do that to a lot of my animals, so yeah. 
Yeah, I think that's a fail. But my mom said somebody will like them. Yeah. And then, the first one I made when I got up there was this. This is a jellyfish. This jellyfish has 18 tentacles. If I make this jellyfish again, which I might, it is going to have less tentacles than 18. Like maybe 9. 8 or 9. I swear to God. Look at all of his legs. Like holy mackerel. He's all in blue. Because that is my favorite color. I think I stuffed them too much because I think this is supposed to be flat, but somebody will like them. But yeah, 18 tentacles, which is ridiculous. And then this is my all-time favorite one I made out there. I made a little whale. Isn't he cute? I want to make him in like 100 different colors, I think. And they also have an option for a narwhal. So isn't he cute? This is Red Harbor's Love Minty. I do know that. The frog was some green that I have. Red Heart White. I use an embroidery thread for his little bow tie. Um, the jellyfish was some blue and green. Or some blues that I had. But he has any cute. Yeah, I think he's adorable. And then I showed you all of this stuff. <laughs> I do have to empty my bag out though. Wow, 37 minutes, holy crap. Okay, um, I think that's it for this stuff. Um, I think I'm going to do a separate video since this one is so long. And do my unbox my box that I got my package that I got and my yarn haul so I will talk to you guys in a little bit bye